I was mentioning earlier that the many artists in Europe from this moment of time were either taking a position, entering a conversation, uh, whether the conversation was uh, critical or not, with what was, was started to appear in the United States. I think mean, it's clear also with painting in the first room that the notion of abstract painting uh, that we see here is very different than, for instance, the what was happening in the United States at the same time with either the end of abstract expressionism, but there is this very rich dialogue happening between the, the two cultures. It's clear, very clear, with Arte Povera and artists like Pistoletto, Mario Mertz, Marisa Mertz, that there is this very rich antagonism between both. And I look at this work by the, the Portuguese artist José de Guimarães, and in many ways, uh, it reminds me of Sergei's to work, which kind of dialogue with the work of the American artist Robert Rauschenberg, who was known at the time to do this, this sculpture, this combined sculpture, in integrating found object, element of architecture, ready-made piece of newspaper, advertising, mirror surface, and you have here this this, basically, it's a telephone booth in which you cannot enter with a pair of pants hanging in the middle. And it's really, for me, something that is, um, could belong in a conversation about international pop art, meaning how does object of popular culture, object of popular consumption, could be the matrix of a work of art. So here you have, an, like, you have different tradition here, I mean, the, the telephone booth uh, that belongs to popular culture, and this pants upside down and that you would see in a, in a store as an advertising. So he's turning the advertising upside down, there is text on the pants, so he's really taking this model, this notion of popular culture, of pop art, but I would say he's making it more more, almost more political that an artist like Rauschenberg or Klesel Dunburg that you could see in the park here at Serralves would do. And almost to echo what Antonio Barros was doing with Resolução, Revolução, Evolução, with open new era. As if this moment of time in art was actually opening a new era, not only in the, the, the aesthetic conversation, but in, uh, in history in, uh, in general. The paradox here is that it's called open new era, but the box you cannot enter. The case where the pants are on display, you cannot enter. It's almost if, as if he was turning the world upside down, and an invitation to, to an open era that you cannot access. You know, for me, it also echo a rose for democracy in a test tub by Joseph Beuys. Is that just this open new era? Is that just an experiment? Is it just representation? And of course, you have the, the world upside down. If you wear a skirt, male or female, you don't walk on a mirror. So here, I think, I don't know if it's part of the artist's work, but because the pants are upside down, that does exactly the same thing because it's a mirroring effect show what's inside the pants.